the second sign of his coming, the cosmic signal. Look in verse uh, 24. So it's interesting, there's a link here between the abomination of desolation and then these cosmic events. But in those days, what days? What days is he talking about? The days following the abomination of desolation, they're linked together, they're not separate. After that tribulation, the one he's just talked about, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The stars of heaven will fall and the powers in the heavens will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. And then He will send His angels and gather together His elect from the four winds, from the farthest part of the earth to the farthest part of heaven. And so from what I read, these signs will be impossible to miss. Unmistakable as the cosmos beginning to crumble before our eyes. If you've ever seen a solar eclipse, does that get your attention? In broad daylight, when it goes completely dark for a moment, just for a moment, as it's completely a total eclipse, does that grab your attention? Jesus is saying, don't worry. And that's what Paul was telling those at Thessalonica. You haven't missed it. It hasn't happened yet. You're not going to be wondering, did it happen? This isn't like Y2K, when nothing happens. And we're like, did it happen? Yeah, nothing happened. It'll be completely unlike that. It'll be unmistakable. 